Well, hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. You know, the Luminar 4 software program has this sky replacement feature in it, and it's so simple to use. And in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is. So if you were watching my channel last week, you would have noticed I was on a bit of a photography mission in the Bay of Fires in Binalong Bay in Tasmania, Australia. I was doing a sunrise shoot and I ended up shooting on two mornings. On the first morning, it was rather dull, overcast, and I shot to the conditions, I made the most of it. I ended up using black and white photography as well as shooting some long exposure. On the second morning, I had a little bit more success. I had the sun coming up over the horizon and I got a nice little bit of a sun star. But realistically, it wasn't the type of thing I was after. What I really wanted was some nice cloud in the sky and I wanted, you know, nice colours coming through. Now, using the Luminar 4 sky replacement technology, I can now turn that into reality. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is Luminar 4 as it looks like on your screen and this is version 4.1.1. You can see that I've got my shot here from the Bay of Fires. So let's go over to our right hand side of Luminar 4 and you come down to where this little artist palette is and it says creative. Click on that. And then up here you're going to have AI Sky Replacement, which stands for Artificial Intelligence of course. And then underneath that you've got these different types of skies that you can use. Luminar 4 comes with some presets that they've already included in the program. The good thing is you can also include your own skies. So you can load in your own custom skies. So say for example, you've already gone and shot a beautiful sunrise or sunset, you're really happy with that sky, but you want to apply that sky to another shot. You can very easily through this program. So let's just quickly step through and see how fast it is. So let's click on blue sky one. Wow, look at that. How fast was that? Blue Sky 1, let's go Blue Sky 2. Wow. Blue Sky 3. Let's get down to some more. Oh, bright Blue Sky. I just cannot believe how quick it is. And now if we just zoom in and let's have a look at the horizon here. Having a think about, look at that. That is amazing. You know, for me to have done that in Photoshop, it would have taken me quite some time, but look at the detail. It's just got right around this tree, right around the horizon, no problem at all. Wow, let's just step through some more and have a look. Dramatic sky. So that looks pretty good, actually. Dramatic sky actually suits the tone of the shot and the way I took it in. Let's have a look at some more. Dramatic sunset one. Wow. But it does look a little bit far-fetched because the day was overcast, it wasn't that type of colour in the sky. And you can also add in things like galaxy, so if you want to put in your own stars, and more sunset shots here. Yeah, I mean look, that almost looks very realistic as it is there, but once again, the foreground is a little bit dark. Let's have a look at Dramatic Sky 4. Yeah, I like that one because you know, that looks actually quite realistic to the shot that I was taking. It was overcast on the day. The only one singular thing is the sun is more over here on the left hand side, but on the day the sun was coming up more over here on the right hand side. But that's very easy to change. You just got to click on advanced settings and just come down here to where it says flip sky. And bang, look at that. How quick was that? I've just flipped it around, two clicks and you're basically done. So with this program, who's it for? Well, if you're a real estate photographer, definitely if you've got a high turnover and you need shots done out really quickly with sky replacement, um, wedding photographers, you've got landscape photographers like myself, definitely be able to use it. And also your travel photographers, because say for example, I was there in the Bay of Fires and I was doing a job for a travel magazine. And on that day, all I had was those overcast conditions. I would be using this program to quickly do up the shot and send it back to the travel magazine. You can use Luminar 4 as a standalone program, but I highly recommend that you actually use it as a plugin for Adobe Lightroom Classic and also Photoshop. I have done that and it makes it a far more powerful weapon when you combine all three. Well guys, this was just a very quick tutorial on Luminar 4 Sky Replacement just to show you how ridiculously quick it is. 
What I'm going to do is leave a link in the description below to go and check out the Luminar Floor website. If you go to the Luminar Floor website, go up to the top where it says Luminar. Underneath that you can either buy now, it actually isn't that very expensive, or you can go down to the trial version, download trial version. You get a 14 day free trial. I ended up using that and it worked really well for me. There's no monthly subscription, you can buy the program outright. Now the creators of Luminar 4 at Skylom Software did not sponsor this video in any way. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it was to use the sky replacement feature. What I'm gonna do is wrap up this video by showing you the before and after of this photo. Thanks so much for watching. Always feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.